Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another Soviet Sunday with Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series thus far. Uh, I certainly have been enjoying playing it, and today we are finally going to tackle something that has been uh, on the docket for a very long time, on the party agenda for a very long time, some might say. We are finally going to be manufacturing, uh, we're finally going to be fabricating fabric in our own nation, in our own glorious Soviet Republic. So let's go ahead and uh, get that started right away. As you may have noticed, I have implemented some of the name suggestions that many of you have suggested. Uh, I finally got Vecherinkagrad in there for our um, main sort of central hub, our main city area, downtown, if you will. And then over here, we've got Train Rexki, which is uh, where the bread and alcohol and all are made. Uh, it's where the, uh, the train network's really just a bit of a... I mean, yes, it's a little chaotic, okay? It train Rexki gets its name from its uh, situation, let's put it that way. And down over here, of course, we have Farminsky as well. Uh, and then Vecherinka Grad means, like, party city. Vecherinka means... Vecherink? Vecherinka? I forget which one it is. It means party. Uh, that's uh, part of an old suggestion as well that came in with our uh, Phantom Doctrine. Let's play. And over here, we've always had party power, of course. So let's go ahead and uh, begin. What is going on over here? Why are you complaining about power? Surely we are not facing issues already. Yeah, we should be fine. Maybe it'll go away once I hit play. Uh, but yes, today we're going to try and get our fabric factory up and running. We finally managed to get all this done over here. It's all set up nicely. This is all homegrown, homemade, home constructed. Very proud of that, actually. And uh, on the topic of construction, this construction office over here will be moved soon. Not right away. It'll be moved soon, and we'll actually rejig it as well. Right now, it isn't actually a proper construction office. It's got a bunch of uh, these, uh, I believe they're, they're ex excavators or I need to make sure I know exactly what they are so I can buy them. Um, thought it was excavators. Stalinek, Stalinek, Stalinek S100. Uh, what else could it be? It's definitely not these. But we do have a bunch of these and what was it? Bulldozer? Yeah, bulldozer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cuz these are what we need to uh to flatten the terrain for free. So that's all it is right now. So I might, you know, make it an actual construction office and move it up in this area uh so that I can actually make this bridge a bit more reasonable. I'm not a fan of how this looks even though it works. I don't like it because it feels a little like cheesy, a little gamey. Uh, so we're going to repair that soon. But uh, but today, I want to finally get that fabric factory up and running over here. Uh, it will require a fair bit of time to be spent. Uh, we're going to build a gas station up over here or something first. We're going to pay for that, the construction of that gas station, I think. Or we could do this in parts. I mean, what I could do is I could go ahead and get the um, gas station going first. If I can just find it. Always, always. There we go. Gas station. Ah, no, it's not going to fit here. I mean, it would fit there, but all the terrain issues and stuff would not allow me to build it there. Uh, that's a little bit of a bummer. Because it's certainly the best, like, place for it. I could tuck it back over here. Not perfect, but it works. Uh, or I could put it, like, up over here, I suppose. The on route to this bus stop, there's a, there's a gas station right there. I guess that's close enough. The reason why I want to put the fa fabric factory over here is because uh, we can feed directly into the clothing factory, save ourselves some time and resources, and, uh, and, and, and just produce clothes more smoothly. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the uh, gas station over here, I suppose. Tuck you right up against this corner over here, I think. You know what, actually, before we start laying all this out, let's wait until the sun rises, just so we can actually see what the hell's going on. Let them play time forward a little bit, and uh, oh wow, we were, we were right at that sunrise. Yeah, we'll get that gas station going. We might pay for it partially um just because i don't know if i have that much patience we, we've got money coming through we've started at 1.1 i want to see if we can end every session higher than we started uh so that we can start making some serious profit because uh, money, money we started with six million we're down to one we've been below one but we are recovering now you know we've made money last month i believe yeah we did we made money last month and we're currently making more money this month over halfway through it we should be fine. We're draining it right now, of course, and I'm guessing it's primarily because of, yeah, iron and fabric. Iron's gonna be a bit of a problem. Steel makes us so much money, but uh, iron is definitely gonna be a problem. What is going on over here? Why are you Why are you causing me trouble here? Don't make me waste money on things like this game. Come on. Come on. Let's go ahead and destroy you and you, and let's go ahead and get that done again, shall we? Oh, come on. Don't do this now. 
Come on. There it is. Okay, auto build that. All right, cool. I don't know why I was doing that, but it's fixed now. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get to work. No time to waste. These sessions are fairly short as is, it feels like. So let's go ahead and get that gas station put down right over here. And let's see, what kind of resources do you need? Don't auto-purchase resources. Oh, yeah, no, auto-purchase resources. That's the actual fuel itself. And uh, what do you need? You need concrete, gravel, asphalt, steel. We have all of that. Now, this is far away from our construction office, so it'll take some time to get here and actually... Um, I'll build it, but I'm gonna pop you down right there and make sure this construction office is working on it. Oops. Make sure you're working on the road as well as that. The road needs to get done first. I think we're gonna play this session probably at triple speed all the way through as well. Uh, again, just trying to save money. Now, like, how much would this actually cost us to build? Now, 3,000 isn't that much in the grand scheme of things. We've got to think about money as well. Oh, sorry, uh, time as well, right, as a resource. Because the amount of time it would take to get this built up, the amount of money we would spend importing fabric because of how much time we're spending building this up, like, does that balance out? That's another piece of mathematics that we have to do a little bit of. Uh, I think we're fine for now. Um, 3,000 is not that much. You know what? You know what? Maybe... Uh, Maybe, maybe, maybe I will just rush this out. I think we're going to waste time otherwise. Yeah, let's go ahead and rush this out. Pull it down a bit. And when I say waste time, I mean as a resource. Go ahead and get that done. We're going to go ahead and demolish you. Yep. And clear out the roads over here. Alright. Done. Now, over here. The fabric factory. This is... This is crucial. The layout of this is very important because what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get the fabric factory feeding into the clothing factory. We've got the space here for it. The road is over there, though. So we can do something like this, right? Uh, close enough to the bus station, no problem. Wondering if... I guess this is the best way to do it. The thing that I'd like to figure out is if there's a way to get it all the resources it needs. It needs... Chemicals, which we have, we're producing those. It needs crops. The crops are too far away. We're not going to be able to do that. We could just import the crops. Crops are dirt cheap to import. Bringing enough chemicals here quickly enough, that's going to be a big problem. That's going to that's gonna be something that consumes a lot of time. And we don't want to import chemicals, because chemicals are extremely expensive, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, chemicals are really expensive. And I'm better off importing fabric at that point. So yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. All right, let's go ahead and get uh, you going. Now, we are also going to do our oil. Um, we're we're going to tap oil soon. I think that'll probably be next session, depending on how this goes. Uh, but definitely planning on doing that soon. Let's go ahead and pop you down like that. I wonder if there's a reason to do multiple inputs here. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Now, if anybody knows, feel free to let me know if you can think of a reason for doing multiple inputs. I guess we can just pop you down over here. Something like this, maybe. I just want it to look nice. Alright, so if we do something like that, then our factory connections... God, that bothers me so much. So glad I didn't pay for this. So glad I didn't pay for that. Uh, or for this. Sorry. I, 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 don't, I don't like worry about it too much but sometimes when you can get it right easily it's just like it bothers me to not get it right come on no the wireframe's not gonna help here there like we can do that oh they're not both perfectly lined up fair enough fair enough there so we've got that going and we've got our sidewalk as well our footpath uh which will lead up from over here and we will do... Here's what we'll do. Oh. Why has everything got to be a mess? Alright, fine. Like that, and like that. I, I'm just trying to, like, make a bit of a, like, a branching path. Like, literally, like, make it look like trees and stuff. Sure. Close enough. Alright. 
Now let's go ahead and resume time, and I believe that's everything we need constructed. Hopefully the construction office will assign itself. Is that micromanagement I could do without? And uh, hasn't done it yet. Go ahead and get all this happening, please. Can I not assign sidewalks? What's up with that? All right, start the construction. And now I can assign it. Yeah, I keep uh, forgetting about that extra click. Go ahead and add. You, you. I, I also dislike that we have to wait until the road connection is done. Yes, uh, factory path as well needs to be uh, activated, I suppose. Start construction. And then, then over to the construction office. It is within range, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's within range, but I don't know why it doesn't auto-assign it. Maybe just because of how much, uh, how many resources and stuff it has available, how many mechanisms and stuff it has available, but, uh, go ahead and assign ourselves. All right, and, uh, now we wait. Triple speed. Well, we're not just gonna sit and wait, obviously. We're gonna watch how this goes, and maybe while that's happening, we consider rejigging this, because, uh, if it actually had some of the resources, we might be able to do something. Prefab panels, mechanical components, and electronic components will all come from here. Wonder if we get rid of some of these bulldozers and replace them with some uh, some things that can actually work. Might not be a bad idea. We've got we've got a mixer and a dumper, right? So like. There's a little bit of... I, in fact, I believe something's out there right now. Let's go ahead and get rid of maybe a couple of these bulldozers. A couple of these bulldozers. There we go. And let's go ahead and buy... Yeah, it looks like we're moving. Uh, like, look, looks like it is getting work done. Let's go ahead and buy... Uh, we've got... Let's see. We've got a mixer. We've got a dumper. Where the hell is the... T138. We are a dumper. Sorry. Yeah, well, there's a T138 mixer. Well, it's good to see that these guys are, in fact, working. Uh, what else do we need? We could get a paver and a roller, help make some roads with this thing. Or we could get a crane. Cranes help as well. Let's go ahead and get the paver and the roller. Let's see if uh, these guys actually get out there to get some work done. This is almost done already. This is almost done already. Oh, it's good to see the work happening so quickly. It's good to see so many workers coming here as well. A lot of them going to that uh, train platform, though. Interesting call. It's cool as well that these construction buildings actually have to move through the city. And my god, are they not slow. Oh, wow. Ridiculously slow. Holy crap. Okay, okay. Stuff. You're all fine. Gotta make sure everything's moving s smoothly as well. I'm making steel here. Make some serious steel. Yeah, look at that. Look at that money. Yes. I mean, hold on a second. I'm not a capitalist pig. What am I saying? Again, we want to try and end the session over 1.1. This work's being done. Yeah, looks like it. Working late into the night over here. Late into the night. It's gonna be good. I'm really excited. And also, yes, whoa, whoa. Why does it look like there's a fire going on over here? Buddy. These trucks are really loading up. Quick, alright, good. I'm glad. Alright, looks like yeah, we have access from here to build this out, so that's good. This is almost done. This is gonna take some time to get done, I guess. I think construction workers will arrive from this bus as, bus stop as well. If I'm not mistaken, they do that as long as resources are available. I could be mistaken. And what's going on over here? We have, I believe, yeah, some of these buildings or some of these vehicles are going out. I thought they were at least. Yeah, some have definitely emptied out. That's good. Between two construction offices working together to get this done, it'll be done a little bit faster. Like in our financial situation right now, is the... uh steel train on its way over it is indeed there we go just made it over i think yeah you can tell because the numbers are going up oh wow it's march already a double speed man 
goes by fast. All right. Um. No, there we go. I was like, what? Yeah, this month, so we're in the green. That's good. Last month, ah, we just barely ended up in the red. Just barely. That's too bad. It really kind of tells you... Really kind of tells you how much money we're wasting here. Look at that, 24k. Iron, like I said, iron's going to be a problem. Just because it's far away. And I can't wait to get fuel happening as well. Uh, oil isn't all that bad for us. I mean... See, the thing is, okay, so once I get uh, oil happening, oil has to happen all the way over here, because this is where the oil rigs are. They don't need people, so we'll get the oil rigs, and we'll get a train to export it up to uh, Kaizina? Kaizinia? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But we'll get a train to, you know, go up that way, uh, deliver it over there, but we'll also have another train delivering oil back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say probably somewhere over here. We might finally use this track, deliver it somewhere over here, and uh, process that oil into fuel and bitumen, as which I've been told is pronounced bitumen, apparently. Or, 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 or oh, I forget now. Uh, yeah, uh, Miss Elite was listening to me play this game last weekend, or ready, you know, making the episode for last weekend. And uh, when I was done, she's like, by the way, <laughs> no way that's how it's pronounced. It's a terrible pronunciation. Nonetheless, however it's pronounced, uh, we're going to be producing that. And, ooh, hello, is that a big bus? That is a big bus. Interesting. Nope, it's not this bush. Damn, where am I? Go down here. Wouldn't mind some bigger buses. I wonder... Sorry, got easily distracted there. How many can you carry? 135. That's big. That's big. Now, do we want to replace any of our existing buses up the traffic situation? It's also a matter of timing, though, right? Like, buses need to arrive separated enough oh what I could do is I could pick up some students to go to school got a lot of students like sitting there waiting now this school is empty you, you know what I'm gonna use that snippet that moment in time to inform this decision of making this a school bus from there to where is the school there uh, you're just going to pick up students with no education, and you're going to drop them off over here. Wait, no, hold on. Let's get in, and this... No, okay. Well, or we could do both. We can go back and forth. Okay, yeah, yeah, fine. This is fine. Keep it to students. Actually, over here, they might actually be educated and need to be brought back. Yeah, sure. And see, we're doing stuff that's not just waiting. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so what we want to do is we want to try and get uh, fuel and process that into oil and bitumen or bitumen, however the hell that's pronounced. Uh, I'll learn, I'll learn uh, where to go, where to go. So oil will be producing and then we'll be converting that to fuel, which we can make a lot of money out of, and bitumen. Bit wow, okay, bitumen. I'm going to say it that way for now and get used to it. And, and that should make us a fair bit of money because of how much we can ship at, a given, at any given time. This is good. Looks like we're almost done over here with the roads, at least. Let's go ahead and... you have what it takes to lay this thing out? They've assigned the footpath automatically. That's good. Oh, wow. Hey, this uh, prefab is being built. Forgot to stop that construction. Looks like we're going to get a new <laughs> residence over here as well. I don't mind. We could probably do with some more people. Uh, let's see. Wow, our unemployment is dropping significantly. That's actually awesome. I haven't checked this in a while. Our unemployment is dropping significantly. That is great. Because it used to be above... Uh... Wait, hold on. No, apparently it's going up. This one we had... Really high unemployment at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to have really high unemployment. There we go. If you go far back enough... Kind of been parabolic. That's unemployed workers. Oh no, there we go. That's unemployed workers. All right, it's it's okay as long as okay, okay. So it's been going up and down. All right, fair enough. Average age has been going up. Education level, university education has kind of stagnated. No education has been dropping. Basic has been skyrocketing. That's great. Really cool that you can see all these numbers. Electronics. Wow, people have uh, started buying those radios, huh? We need to get some car owners. We're gonna get that working as well. We're gonna get uh, cars done soon. 
because I really want to explore that. It's a newish mechanic uh, released with the latest update, and uh, you can build cars, you can build car lots, you can build parking lots, you sell cars to the people, and you can also sell cars to other nations. You seriously still have to deliver workers over here? Yes. I guess these guys are all assigned to their own spots. Fair enough. That's going to get finalized. And back over here, actually, over at Farminsky. Are we still getting workers here? It had stopped for a while. Hopefully we've got the split right now. Ah, okay, that's why. Every once in a while. Attempting to make, like, a relief connection up to here or something. For when this nonsense happens. I could do... I mean, let's see. It would be a connection to... From right side to right side up there. And we do something like, uh... Like, uh... I don't think there's much we can do. Well, there's a semaphore. That's before entering into this crossing over here. May pull one further back over here. Crossing not allowed. Uh, this would make this a very messy area. But it would at least allow trains to pull out. Or I can do, you know, what a sane person might do and set up a relief like over here. Right, so it would be it would just to get past this be just to get past this crossing. So something like that. And then go a little bit further. Let's pop you back in. Hopefully these trains can use that to get themselves out of this kind of a situation. We can do the same on this side as well. Should it become necessary. Like that. Over like that, like bypassing this crossing. I this is not. I'm not a. I I. I this is not what I do for a living, guys. This is, I'm not familiar with how train networks are supposed to be put down. I've been trying to learn. I promise. I promise you that I've been trying to learn and familiarize myself with how this stuff works. Uh. This is not smooth enough, I guess. Don't know if I can make it smooth enough to give me enough room to make this work. Oops. Oh. Going straight, and then... If I pull out this way... Okay. That was just a good old-fashioned misclick. That I know not to do. If I pull back this way, yeah, we, we, we can't... This is just uh, not the right... There's that change in height over here that's just way too much. We can't flatten that. Certainly can't raise it. Oh yeah, okay, this works. There's a bit of a fall off there that we can take advantage of, I think. There we go. Alright, that should do the trick. Over to here, and then pull in. There we go. Alright, I think that'll do the trick. Now the question is, how do we... How do we semaphore this thing? So this is... These we would cancel. Right. Get you going that way, and then get you... Going... This was a two-way on this side. Should be a two-way as well, I suppose. To match that. And then you decide, either you're gonna go straight... Over here, these should be chains as well. You decide which way you want to go, and we'll have... This will be a one-way, I guess. Because we have to, like, eventually separate the directions, right? Right? That makes sense. You go through, and then... Push through there. Have a little stop over here. And over here... You have a little stop over here, and you push through, push through. No, that one's too close, I think, to the, uh, to the edge here. There. Does that make sense? That makes sense to me, I think. Push you in a little bit as well. And let's go ahead and auto-build all of that. Okay, let's go ahead and turn you around, head you back to Vecherinka Grad. 
Off you go. Off you go. No. I get stuck there. I turn you around to Farminski. You should be able to push through, no problem. And you'll be able to push through. Okay, this is... Bit of a hot mess, but hey, this part of the city is called Trainwrecksky, or rather, this part of the nation is called Trainwrecksky. Again, the sense of scale that this game has is easy to forget. Easy to forget. All right. Hopefully that solves this problem, because that was that was definitely slowing down some of our uh, income. Are we doing over here on the topic of income? We're doing quite well. Topic of income, even, is what I was going for there. Wow, we are loading up on all, all of this steel. That's another, what, 60-ish? Getting ready to roll out. Not feeling too good about that number, though. Not balancing out perfectly. Now, we are importing mechanical components and stuff like that. As long as we're not importing steel and whatnot. Looks like work's getting done over here quite well at a decent pace. That's good. Wasn't my intention at all, but hey, that's what you get for not paying attention, I guess. I guess these guys are able to get here a little bit faster now as well, so that's all fine and dandy. Those clothes get made. A lot of money coming from those clothes. Now, what's happening up over here? Ah, uh, that's why. Okay. This thing has been the bane of my existence for a very long time. I need to figure this out. His money is literally just sitting there collecting dust. You go through. So what's happening here? What's happening here? You come up. You decide not to cross over. Because this is a two-way. Right, so I'm just trying to figure the logic out over here. I want trains to be able to go in either of these two slots and come out from either of them. And then over here, I want them to switch based on where they want to go. Unfortunately, what that's also doing is that when a train's, train's coming this way, it's deciding on, uh, on the wrong choice. So I feel like I need another crossing, or... This crossing had helped temporarily. Figuring this out is very important. If anybody has any suggestions, then that uh, that would make a very big difference to our glorious nation, I think. Because, let's see, so... Train's coming through, it's going... I can go into either one of these slots, so it does that. And then over here is when it decides. On the way back is the problem. I could make these one ways. I feel like that was an old problem we had. If I make these one ways... Right? Now the train coming through has to make the decision over here, I suppose? Based on what's happening over here? That seems like a long distance to make a decision. But I think that'll do the trick, because then this isn't really a two-way. I could move this further back, allow them to switch before... Okay, yeah, you know, I think that might do the trick, because if I get rid of these... That means that from a two-way, you can go out, and you have to make the decision before you hit this light which way you want to go. Uh, might still cause the same problem, but at least this block is now one block. I think that should solve it. We'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out together, folks. What's the deal here? Nobody's here to work on it. Nobody's here to work on this either. What, no vehicles assigned? What are you doing? You have an auto assigned? Unfinished road and footpath up over here. Why aren't you finished? Electronic components. I believe we have some... Oh, no, 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 right. Um, the purchase resource, we got to auto purchase. Electronic components or electronic components and mechanical components. God, they're so expensive. Stay topped up. There we go. That's that's what slowed that down. That's not good. How much does it cost to finish this road off, though? At least this got built. One thousand. We can spare a thousand, I think. The time saved. We're gonna be saving how much over here? Thirty k, thirty-five k, and then the overall. Us as well, of course, if we're doing business. Yeah, we lost a lot of money this time around. 
It's not that we lost a lot of money, it's that we didn't make as much. No, we lost a lot of money. We were making about the same. It's costing us so much this month. I guess it's the components and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 exactly it. Jeez. Alright. Okay, okay, alright. You can't always be green, right? You, you gotta spend money to make money, right? What worries me is that we are making trips with the train, and it's 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 just not doing enough. Lots more workers arriving over here right now though. I would build another train to uh, to move people, or to move steel, but I don't know if that's uh, gonna help because of production speed. Now, actually, many of you were suggesting that I actually get train sets to move people around, because apparently the train set is better for moving people around, but... Train set. But I don't see the numbers. Uh, is it a speed thing? 120... Versus 120 with the slowdown of having to carry stuff? So, so do explain that to me, because... I... I didn't see... I remember checking that, and I don't see the advantage of the train sets, apart from, you know, one-click... ...work. This is opened up, for now at least. This is starting to feel a little bit like, uh, like an actual train... like... Train yard kind of a thing, I guess. Sort of looks real-ish. How are we doing over here? Not too hot. Okay, at least the vehicles have been assigned. Got you bringing in some steel. Okay, excellent. And over here, our unplanned construction. <laughs> ah, the people. They do. The people do what the people need to do. That's a lot of prefab panels we need, though. I could import those as well, I believe. Prefab panels do not come here, do they? No, no, they don't. Why would they? They do come over here. Not very expensive. We don't need 70 tons. I need 11 tons. For sure, let's go ahead and purchase one batch over here. Hopefully soon I can make my own prefab panels as well. Because we are still spending money on importing goods for construction. Prefab panels actually... If I take a look at the uh, construction-related industries... Prefab, where are you? I would expect it to be here. But I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. And it's not. Uh, various industries? Nope. Food and crop? I'm, I'm getting desperate here. Residential? Doesn't make sense, obviously. They've reduced how many housing options there are. That's weird. Asian related food. No, it's not going to be food. Oh, hey, they've made a place to store livestock. That's a new addition. Just I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, what am I looking for again? Prefab, right? There we go. Prefab. Need cement and gravel, which we produce, so we could actually get this down. However, again, I, I want to get that fabric factory. That's the focus right now because it uh, it would save us a lot of money. This was a bad month. This was a bad month. We lost more this month than last month. A lot more. And that's not entirely the fault of the trains getting stuck. Well, again, it was a co it was an expense thing. Yeah, it's 60k more expenses almost. Wait, not 60k. Yeah, 60k more. Wow. And that's the that's the difference, roughly. Okay. So it was definitely because of the electronic components and stuff that we had to buy. Go on over here. Not missing. You're just not picking them up. Missing truck with open hull. Okay, let's get rid of another one of these, I guess. Um, there you go. Open hull truck. Which one's the good one? Which one do we have over here, I guess, is the question. 706RT. 706RT, open hull. There we go. So now you've got the truck you need. Doesn't have prefab panels. Where are we getting prefab panels from? 
Open storage, no. Yeah, it should be the cargo station. Sources without steel. That's a steel, well it's out of steel right now maybe. Because it's all storing up into the train. What are you up to? What's your problem? Missing truck with covered hull? When you say missing truck with, oh covered hull. Oh, god damn, okay. Go ahead and get rid of you again. Whoops. I got for not reading properly. What? God damn. Covered hull. Covered hull. Go ahead and get, uh... Well, let's not waste money. Let's not bleed money like that. I'm guessing electronic components and stuff. Okay, so... 2.8 tons, 4.2, 4.5... 4.5 for 7.5 right now. Okay, I feel like that's the best deal. Yeah, I think that is. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now you... Get rid of a dumper. My... Oh no, there we go. We're fine. Yeah, I guess someone else has taken over that responsibility. Okay, fair enough. Not like this. Not like this. Come on. Gotta smooth it out. Oh, what's happening over here? Guess they're both doing their own thing. Yeah. Taking their sweet time. Blocking this train from arriving, but that's okay. It's only a cargo train, and I believe we have enough crops. Don't have enough livestock, unfortunately, but... Not the end of the world. As long as this isn't getting blocked, that's that's when all hell breaks loose, is when this gets blocked. That doesn't seem to be the case, which is good. Now, I also want to check up on my bus, my long bus. Holy crap, there are so many workers waiting here. I wonder if this train could actually use an extra uh, car. The reason why I don't have more cars, by the way, is because I... Um, uh, more cars per, per, per train is because they start getting stuck in my crossings and stuff. You, you're carrying 22 students? That's all you're carrying, really? Despite all that capacity and all the people waiting over here, you only, you only pick up 22, okay. It's, ah, uh, it's because a lot of the students that are waiting are university, are looking for universities, but the university is right over here. Okay, where'd that bus go? Go ahead and pick up children with basic education as well, and let's go ahead and add that as a stop. You unload children with a basic education. Don't load anybody. That that should do the trick. Okay, let's watch this bus real quick. See the students getting on, hopefully. Yep. Jeez, this is a busy, busy train station. I feel like I need another train just servicing these two. Because of how busy this is. And with this getting done soon, it's only going to get busier. Alright, so you pull down this way first. Over to the university. Drop people off over here for their night classes, I suppose. Alright. Off they go. All arriving here, they're waiting. We need professors up in here. A lot more professors and these 26 students head on over to here okay I mean it's working in theory go ahead and purchase another one and we're gonna copy where did that vehicle go there you are copy your schedule over to this and you can start as well keep those people educated teach them why our way is better than that of the capitalist pig. Ah, come on, man. You can't keep doing this. I really need to learn their behavior and see where they're messing this up. Where I've messed this up, I mean, obviously. Coming through that way, and then you, you decide on the wrong path. This crossing is working fine. They just picked the wrong path on the way to here. 
That's because a train comes through. I think it's a matter of timing. I need to see it as it happens, and then I can figure it out. I'm a very much kind of stuck in that. All right, what's going on over here? Missing some resources, but hopefully some vehicles are coming over. Yeah, dump are coming over right now. Well, just gonna pick some stuff up, I guess. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. So let's. Just, ugh, I need to figure this out. It's very much the wrong path being picked on the way here. If I put a uh, directional light over there. It comes through and it stays on this side because it's already on this side. Like, why should I switch if I don't have to switch? Because you're stuffing up the whole system. That's why, man. That's why. And I believe the next one that's going to come through is going to do the same thing. It's going to stick to that right side. Because again, why wouldn't it? Oh, hello, Steel Train. Oh, I guess I missed the other one going through. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So if, if they're sticking to the right side as they come through, perfectly fair. They are neither switching over here, where they can switch to, to get to the correct side, nor are they switching over here, because they don't have to. At this point, they don't have to. That's for, for the way out. And I could make this one way... That way, when a train comes through, it has to start on the right side, though. Unless I push these signals up there. Yeah, see, this has to be a two-way on its way out. It has to be. That's one of the first things that uh, you guys mentioned in the comments. One of the first things I, quote-unquote, learned. Hey, look, the money's doing okay now. That's good. Steel train, I swear. Guys, yeah, if you, if you know what the hell's going on here. I, I I can see why it's a problem. I'm guessing it's a matter of spacing, maybe, between this getting occupied. Because the thing is, I mean, maybe I push this block back a little bit so that this area is deemed occupied sooner. Because that's just it. It must be that this train is able to find its way in. Only one should be able to get its way through. <laughs> Also doesn't help that I don't have the switching on this side. You're a one way, you're a two way. Yeah, I feel like I could need an I, I would need another switch somewhere up there. Ooh, that's not good. This thing needs to be put out right away. Yeah, I could get we've got the, the fire fighters arriving immediately. <gasps> no! That's pretty cool actually. I didn't I've never seen uh, people actually get injured during a fire. That's neat that, that happens. Now we gotta get an ambulance over here. Fire's taken care of, quickly enough. Down over here, how's it going? He's a little long. Ah, oh, goddamn. Just talking about this too. Because this vehicle insists on doing the loop. I rotate it. I can do this, perhaps. I need to figure these ro these uh, trains out. Be able to pull out. Yeah, see, because that, that blocked this train as well. Blocked all of these buses. Looks like I just caught it in time, though. They're still not able to come through. Get out of that block. Let's go. Free all this up. What's the deal over here? Why are you stuck? I get to that cargo station. I get to this cargo station. I'm guessing they're blocking each other right now. Alright, fine. Temporary solution over here. A little bit of a band-aid. There. Wow, this is a bit of a, this is a hot mess. This truly is train wreck ski. Needs to be sorted out. Because yeah, that was slowing down my vehicles and my construction here as well. Yes, yeah, the construction workers do arrive just from the bus stop, it looks like. Good. I don't know how often they arrive, or maybe I'm mistaken. No, yeah, there we go. They are arriving from the bus stop. Good stuff, good stuff. Need some concrete up in here, though. Need lots of concrete up in here. Is that what you're bringing us? Not anymore, you're not. 
I do believe we have enough concrete coming through. Cement, no resources, missing coal. One thing after another, isn't it? One thing after another. How's the brick factory doing? Also missing coal. But once that fabric factory's up... Go ahead and auto-purchase a little bit of coal. Once that fabric factory's up, I need to sort my coal issue. I've been, I've been putting the coal issue aside for far too long, and it's costing me. But hey, we are actually looking like 1.11, I believe. We are higher now than we were than, uh, like, at the beginning of the session. Right. Train's gonna go through. That train's fine. And over here, we're fine as well. Actually getting some work done over here. Need those prefab panels. 77 more tons. Hey, new cars. I think I did my math wrong. By which I mean I think I had the wrong number in my mind. 77. What a waste. What a waste of money. But might as well get that done. It's your problem. Alright, you're fine. Yeah, I wonder what else I could do over here to help add some relief. Because again, all these trains are trying to get to this station. And I do it at the same time. Maybe I just have too many trains trying to get to the station at the same time. That's a whole different problem. And you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually... I think I'm going to add another car to this. Okay, let's go ahead and send you to the depot. Hopefully you can make it. Long way to go. I'm going to add another passenger car to that so that it can actually ship more people at any given time. Because this, this platform needs some relief. Needs a lot of relief. And maybe these guys as well. Ah, you actually go all the way to Farminsky. A little bit harder to manage that. But you're fine, you're on your way. You'll need that concrete over here. Looks like uh, stuff's coming through. Yeah, we got some concrete arriving. Alright, great, 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 great. Good, good, good. Good, because all those people were there working without actually... Well, they weren't working, that's the problem. So let's see, you need another passenger car. Go ahead and buy... 115... 125. 125 it is. Alright, cool. And let's go ahead and get you started off again. No time wasted there. Now hopefully this train is able to... Well, I mean, it, it is able to ship a lot more people at the same time. Hopefully it's able to fit. Because again, it needs to actually go through this whole thing to loop around. Uh, until I make a loop for it, which I do need to do. I do believe I need a loop over here, otherwise we're going to be suffering from these useless delays. Oh, come off it. Are you serious? You have all the choices in the world. Back out that way. You're gonna get stuck, aren't you? Of course you are. Actually, where the hell are you going? Oh, you're going there, okay. Okay, head you back to the depot. Cancel that after this whole mess is done. Come on. Uh, this is... This is really frustrating. Okay, hold on. See, this train can't turn back... I think we're gonna have to do another little temporary band-aid fix over here. I can't it always comes down the train tracks. Always comes down to these train tracks. Okay. You're gonna make your way through. Cancel that. Go ahead and get. That happening? Are you able to pull through? You're not. Now, you should be able to pick the right path over here. And stick to it. Go through. There we go. Once that clears, you should be able to push through as well. I think, I think we've got it sorted. 
stuck here. Got the green all the way through. Okay. Sure. Work with me here, game. Work with me here. Jeez. That took long enough. In the meanwhile, we've lost so much productivity over there. And so many people waiting over here. At least our buses are doing well enough to move students around. You know, that's something to look, uh, look at as a positive. Consider that as a win. In comes the train. It picks up a bunch of workers. They all get pulled up. It's, it's still not enough. That's hilarious. But the other train's coming right away. Ish. It's slowed down by the lights, obviously. But it comes through. Picks up another, what, 150 or something? Up over here, they all get dropped off. Look at that influx. That's, I need more of that. I need a lot more of that. It's gonna be happening. Yeah, this is good. This is good. 250 workers every cycle. Quick cycles as well. Workers keep coming here as well. Like, there's this constant flow of supply and demand. Which means we might actually top up the steel mill a little bit. And if we do that, we'll be making a lot more steel and a lot more money off of it a lot faster. Look at that. Look at that. We're actually, we've got the train in here and we're able to store steel. That's insane. Okay, off goes the train. Yeah, this is good. Beautiful. Because if we can get to a point where the train just kind of goes and comes and goes and comes repeatedly without having to wait so long for a load, that would help us a lot. Another 62k coming through. Again, getting us just above that threshold. Good stuff. Good stuff. Keep bringing people. Now this, unfortunately, is where a lot of workers are going to be waiting. Will those buses come through? Excellent. Still not enough. There's another bus coming around. Yeah, there we go. We, 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 we've got vehicles up there. It's fine. Oh, jeez. Again. This is a problem, folks. It's all because you go to Farminsky and you don't have a way back. This is actually really backed up. Oh my god. Okay. I think next session, if you guys have suggestions on sorting this out, either next session or between sessions, I'm going to, uh, to deal with this. You're fine. It's that one train. It slows down our construction and everything. Brings everything to a grinding halt. What's wrong with you? There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Alright, the vehicles are arriving. I mean, hey, on the bright side, it all comes at the same time. Including workers, hopefully. No, these buses are all empty, aren't they? Yep. I noticed it too late. Okay, we got some workers over here. Materials are arriving. We're gonna need bricks and steel. Oh, there's a lot of stuff we need. A lot of stuff we need. The session was a little bit slower than I would have liked it to be. But on the bright side, we're making steel a lot faster. A lot faster. We're making a lot of money a lot faster as well. Okay. Feel pretty good about that. In fact, let's go ahead and check the economy. Yeah, good stuff. Last month was a bit of a... Oh, wow, actually, last month was not bad. Vehicle type available. Is that a tram? No, it's a passenger car. God damn it. Every time. I always expect it to take me to the depot. And I am not about to send that train back over here to pick up uh, a new passenger wagon. 1972's new edition is this. 155. Oh, that's so many more passengers. That's 300 per round trip. We're fine. We're fine. Look at all these workers. I need to find more things for people to do over here, though. Like, what I could do is I could bring... Oh, you know what I can do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and buy... Because this needs a lot more workers, right? Yeah. So we're going to get go ahead and buy one of these. That you can move people from here. Here. There. That should help us solve the coal problem a little bit. Of 
right? Yeah, go ahead and make that money for me. Look at that, Jesus. Now, unfortunately, that also means our iron consumption is a lot higher. All right, we are basically maxed out over there. And I think we're about to be maxed out at the steel mill for the first time in forever. But we've never done this. Oh, so close. We're so close. That we cannot keep up. I want to buy the coal. There we go. Just to keep it flowing. There we go, a bunch more people arriving. Can we get this maxed out? Yeah, look at that. Look at the steel st holy crap, despite the train being right there. This is good, this feels good. More people coming through. An eye out for that uh, bus as well that's supposed to be taking people to the coal mine. Yeah, this is good. Just got dropped off over here. Doing okay. Coal ore isn't the problem. It's the coal processing plant. I've said this countless times. I know, I know, I know. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. What's the deal back over here? Trains are doing okay. This is still being built. Jeez. There's a long time to go before this gets done, though. And what about the unplanned residents over here? Missing prefab panels and steel? Bought a bunch of prefab panels. Don't you dare tell me it's missing. Not gonna push it. Okay, this this train station is finally getting some relief though, so that's good. Mainly because of this one train. Look at holy crap. Okay, I actually want to see how smoothly this goes, because you see that train right now is making a drop off, right? So it's dropping things off over here. Meanwhile, we've got. Uh, you know, half the workers that we need. Um, so we're producing things pretty quickly. We're already at 50 tons of steel. I want to see how quickly that train actually loads all this steel. Alright. Because... If it loads it super fast... Like, okay, here comes the train. Okay, it's uh, not super fast. Because the, 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 the rate of loading also makes a big difference. We are not outproducing the load speed, though. Let's see, with that new batch of people coming through, will we? I don't think so. It's it's hard to overcome that the load speed, I guess. And more people coming through. Yeah, no. Yeah, fair enough. I was just wondering if we could get another train coming here. We can't, is the answer to that question. Wouldn't mind another steel mill, though. Holy crap, this thing is a moneymaker. This thing is a moneymaker. Alright, down over here, how are we looking? Lots of people arriving at the construction site. We have some materials here. Need a lot more. Missing resources, asphalt. Because we have no workers up here. Some stored, but... There's a little minibus. There it is. We're picking people up to go to the... Coal mines, yeah. Yeah, it works. Coal ore isn't the problem. I don't know why I keep checking it. I know it's not the problem. Process coal. And what I'd like to do is put it somewhere where it can join forces with all these other... Uh... I guess it can't, because you can only have one input in one of these. That's a bit of a bummer, right? Hmm, forgot about that. We'll have to split up what each coal processing plant is supplying to. I guess that's the way to do it. Oh man, it's taking forever. I'm glad I didn't also wait for the uh, the fuel, the, the the gas station. Wait, did the train already leave? I guess so. Oh, it's already here. I mean, hey, at least it's making rotations faster. And that's uh, that's half the battle. That is half the battle. Can't, uh, we can't get an angle from down there. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty happy with this. Alright, 1.1 still. We're, we're, we're basically right around where we started. Well, I do believe things are looking up. I just need to figure this train stuff out. 
just need to figure this train stuff out. Because it's really starting to... I don't want to say get on my nerves because that makes it sound like uh, like the game is frustrating me. It's it's not that. It's it's my... Inability to figure this out. And I think it's just a matter of making a bit of an investment, a financial investment, in cleaning up some of the connections over here. It's just that a lot of trains want to get in here and we only have two, uh, two tracks. I think that's just it. At least this hasn't been a problem. Well, except for when we were bringing that train back. But that was unexpected. Not not the norm. This train now has been doing quite well for us. Look at that. I love this train. This train makes me happy. Something that's going right for once. You know, when you zoom right into this game, sometimes it looks goddamn amazing. There we go. And here we are. Barely see how, how big it is. Looks impressive, though. <laughs> Looks impressive. Seeing so many people flow out, getting there. Oh, we're almost at cap! Yeah, we're gonna be moving a lot faster. We're moving a lot faster. Stealing some of that... Well, actually, no, we're, it's from a communist neighbor. <laughs> from a socialist neighbor, rather. From a social republic? From a Soviet republic? What's the word I'm looking for here? I guess all of the above. Maybe I should sell to the West so I can take their money. I'm happy with this. This, less so. Oh my god, I was just about to say, oh hey look, they haven't cacked it up. Let's see, we got stuck over here again. Because neither... ...side is free. You can't move this way, because that's not a two-way. Well. That's what they want you to think. It's still not a two-way, but I can at least rotate you and get you out of here. And we'll fix this. Come on, come on, go through. Oh, don't do that to me. There we- th God. Damn it. This is worse than the usual. I guess I gotta pull you back to this cargo station. You just gotta clear this block out. Come on, go through. You've got space. Don't don't do this to me. You've got space. There we go. All of these vehicles sitting there, not making us money. Gone through. That should give you the green light to get through. There we go. Now hopefully, actually let's watch this. You should flip to the other side. Yeah. If the block is occupied, it does flip. Not stupid. And then you should be turning around. Well, I guess you're loading up now. Maybe that's, maybe that's the fix I needed all along. Maybe that's the fix we needed all this time. We're about to ship out again soon. Good. Over here, not a mess right now, okay. It's like constantly staying on top of where the next mess is. You are on your way to the fabric factory, okay cool. Bringing in concrete. Concrete, steel, boards, and bricks. Now how are we looking at boards, or rather bricks I should say. Boards I think we're probably fine. Boards looks like we're, yeah, we're definitely fine. Bricks though. Brick production has slowed down because of coal, hasn't it? Yeah. Gotta make those bricks. But thankfully, bricks don't take that much coal to make, but... Every every time I have to buy coal, a part of me dies inside. Anyway. Feeling pretty good overall about the situation. Off goes that steel train again. Let's go ahead and pick up the pace a little bit. Don't... Timing on that was hilarious. Just as I clicked. There we go. Away you go. Away you go. Away you go. There we go. Beautiful. Are you carrying any clothes? Anybody here carrying any clothes? Oh. You get some clothes sold. Clothes make us a lot of money as well. 
I need to figure out this trade network because that's where all of our money comes from and it is constantly a thorn. So again, folks, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. This is where we're going to call it a session, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A bit of a struggle, I know, with the trains constantly causing us trouble. Hopefully, we're going to not see much more of that. Uh, I, I need to sort this out ASAP, though. Fabric Factory is almost here. Uh, that is definitely taking a lot longer to build than I expected, but I think that's primarily because of all of the traffic issues we were having over here. But uh, yeah, almost done that, making good progress across the board. And again, financially as well, we are uh, bouncing back. Last month made some money. This month, hopefully we'll make some more than 13k. That's next to nothing. Uh, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, das vidanya.